I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at this awesome Mini Cooper S. As you can see, it's leaning to one side. If you let these cars sit for a couple years, you may have found that your hydroelastic suspension has leaked down a little bit, and today I'm going to show you how to charge that back up. Let's take a quick look around the Cooper. As you can see, it's leaning to the right side of the car. Now to fill the hydroelastic suspension, there's two ports underneath the car, one for each side. And those are located right under here. You can see that's the one for the right side of the car. On the other side of the exhaust, there's one for the left side of the car. This here is one of the factory Churchill tools to pump up the hydroelastic suspension. The lever on the left, that supplies pressure and pumps up the hydraulic system. Lever on the left, creates a vacuum so that you can evacuate all the air out of the system before you use it. Because the hydroelastic suspension fluid gets sucked in through the system, it's a good idea to keep your vacuum side lubricated and every time you use it, just give it a few pumps, make sure it's still working properly, even if you're not going to use it that day. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect this up to the Mini and see if we have any pressure at all in the suspension. And then we'll know if it has a leak that is leaking out all the fluid or if just a little bit has leaked. You can see here I have ride heights. Uh, I'll show you how to use those later. But the Mini is 12 and 5 eighths and the Austin America is 13 and a half. On the back side of the unit is two hoses. One is black, one is yellow. The yellow is the vacuum side and the black is the pressurized side. So for now, I'm going to hook up the black hose to the Mini. I need to remove the cap from the valve on the car. So you can see it looks just like a tire valve. Before I connect it up, I wanna make sure that the bleed valve is closed and the main valve is open. Now it's ready to connect up to the Mini. Here you can see it connected. You just push it on and then slide this collar on to lock it. Next, I'm going to open up the bleed valve. Now I want to tighten up the valve on the side. And I'll give it a couple pumps. I want to make sure that all the air is out of the system. You can see the fluid spraying out down there. I want to make sure that all the air is out of these hose so that I don't pump it into the car. Now I'll come back down here, close the bleed valve, and then I'll open up the valve for the mini. You can see here before we even start pumping, we're at about 50 pounds of pressure. So I know that there's still pressure in there, so I'm not going to evacuate the air out. The way that you set the ride heights on these is you measure from the center of the wheel up to the lip of the fender. Right now, I'm at about 10 and a half inches, and I need to be well over a foot. So I'm gonna start pumping, uh, come back and measure, and get the ride height set correctly. As you can see, I have the ride height pretty close now. I did put a slight amount too much in, so I'm going to open the valve slightly and relieve just a little bit of pressure. Now that I have it pumped up, I want to close the valve going to the car. And of course, this will lock the pressure in both of the lines. Now I can just Leave that for a second till I relieve the pressure in this line right here. Open up the valve on the side again to relieve the pressure out of the line. And now it's safe to disconnect from the car. Don't forget to replace your cap so that dust doesn't get in there. 
Well, there you go. My little mini is sitting level now. Uh, this is not a job that you should be scared of. If you look up videos on this on the YouTube, you'll, uh, most of the videos you'll see will be of people talking about replacing the hydrostatic suspension with either coils or rubber blocks. This is a great system. There's a reason they put it in the minis and don't be afraid to try to fix it. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.